Okay, this is a Toyota Land Cruiser. It's the 3 litre D4D LC3. It's a five door diesel, 2007 on an 07 plate with a full service history, 53,153 miles, so low, very low mileage for the year. Uh, fuel economy urban is 24.6, extra urban is 37.7, and combined is 31.4. 0 to 60 time of 11.2 seconds and a top speed of 108 miles per hour. The car's got uh, front and rear parking aids, cruise control, um, kind of, that's the tilt mechanism on the steering wheel on the side there. And then on the bottom, you've got the reach adjustment. So, um, as usual, Toyota ahead of the time. I shall take you for a drive in it now. Just knock that off. Now the um, the Aussies have a saying: if you want to go into the desert, take a Land Rover. If you want to come out again, take a Land Cruiser. These, these things are kind of unbreakable and will go anywhere and do anything. Um, the last one of these we had, the, it was just, the, the phone virtually melted. So uh, hopefully as soon as we get the photos done and this valeted, um, again another one, we're going to have the wheels done. So the wheels will be like brand new car will be like brand new it's finished in black and it has grey velour upholstery which is very very comfortable um, it's great to drive I, I went to pick this vehicle up so I already know it's great to drive but we, we still do this test drive and um, so that we can inform the workshop if, um, if there's anything that we think wrong so that they can take um, care of it the um, unfortunately the <laughs> the, the uh, camera equipment's rattling which is very annoying again I wish I knew how they did it on top gear so it's a really comfortable drive anyway it's a proper four-wheel drive and you've got the um, high and low gear in here that you can change from. There's cruise control on the right hand side here where you can actually see it in the uh, little gap there. Your lights are there, the wipers are on the right. All your climate control information and switches are there. Nice and clear and easy to read. We've got electric windows and they will also fold in big front center armrest massive space inside cup holders fantastic turn of acceleration if I'm honest but that's not what you're buying it for it's um, it's quite a although there's plenty of room inside it still feels compact and um, whereas with something like a Range Rover or a, a Discovery you'd, you kind of feel uncomfortable going on off-road because it feels so big this um, this doesn't it's uh, it's just a, a good size for everything. There is a bit of a wheel wobble, um, which is uh, probably wheel balancing. But as I say, we're going to get the wheels refurbished anyway, so that'll be attended to.
also got a diff lock switch here and uh, shift lock so it won't change gear you can uh, if you are off-road it won't change gear at an inopportune moment you're just going up or down a hill I suppose a seven seater as well so very versatile I suppose plenty of load space or people space if you need it good all-round visibility We've got um, side steps and roof bars from memory which I can't quite see in any direction oops there we go, 70 miles an hour, just under 3,000 revs. Cruise control, switch on and set by pushing this lever down. Get on off switch in the end. Down to set it. Down to reduce your speed to resume and uh, increase your speed. We'll, we'll just sit it at 70. Nice and quiet for a four-wheel drive again, no tyre noise to speak of. So that you'd buy a Land Cruiser if you wanted uh, work on a farm or something, you know, hard work as opposed to just driving around. socket to the front there, there electric door switches here you've got uh, wood inlay or wood effect inlay on the dash and the door cards same material on the seats Seats are really comfortable, well padded. I wish we had an off road track to go around. and I've changed it into drive as well. So, we're now doing 70 at 2,100 revs as opposed to 3,000 we were doing before in 4 where I had the gear stick in the wrong position or the gear selector in the wrong position. Still 40 years in the motor trade, you can't expect me to know everything.
good thing with four wheel drives as well is you can see over all the hedges that you can see what's coming in the distance you can see over the cars in front of the roofs <coughs> That uh, was the boatyard. That's all that's left of it. It was refurbished, renamed the Grill and Grain. And a couple of days after it uh, reopened, there was a fire and it burnt down. All that's left is the back wall there. This is canal boat cruises. <clears throat> if you're not from the UK but come from, to this part to visit, enjoyable day out. Some great old barges. Back on with the test drive. Very bumpy road this unfortunately. 